Everybody, welcome back to Runaway Trains. We have Drake and Nick here and a special bag. We did a haul at the wonderful, uh, what store is it? Whistle from? Stop. The Whistle Stop. And where is that located? Pasadena, California. Pasadena, California. All right, let's, let's share with the viewers here what we got today. Hey, it's a pink one, like those uh, containers that we always see, right? We have a Union Pacific caboose with KD couplers. KD couplers? And it was three bucks. Three bucks for a train with KDs on it? Look at that. And we also oh, have man. a I like that. bobber caboose. A $2 bobber. Can't beat that. <coughs> a deuce. We paid a deuce for a bobber. And <laughs> a oh, I like bobber. that. VNO with the Chessie logo on it. And it also says Chessie system in the corner right here. I don't know if you can see it. In the, in the corner there, Chessie system. Now, hang on. Is this a... Uh, um, oh, this has the old hor uh, horn, horn hook. hook couplers down the bottom there. And look, I can't believe... Like, they take such good care over there when they get used stuff. They wrap it up individually with that shrink wrap. That's so cool. And we have a Union Pacific uh, boxcar. Oh, man. KD coupler on one end. On the other, horn hook. Oh, so we could actually run all these trains together. And this was also three bucks. Well, now hang on a second. I'm seeing kind of like a theme emerging here. How about you, Nick? Yeah, I getting... do actually see that. Yeah. And I'm last... seeing a UP mm -hmm. and a UP. And last of all, a Union Pacific. Oh, what do we got? A Union Pacific GP7 diesel. Well, let's see. The, let's see it. I don't want to read it. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, check that out. It's still in the box, too. Union Pacific serves all the West. Oh, man. And this was a, not a bad deal, too. I mean, $40 for running locomotive, a Union Pacific. And this is an Atlas. So this has got to be one of those great flywheel motors. Now, somebody told us that Cato made the engines for these. Is that true? Like the motors and stuff. They made the motors? Well, I'm very excited here because it looks like we got a little theme here. We can pull a little bit of Union Pacific and some Chessie and maybe throw on a little Central Pacific bomber. Central Pacific. Do we want to bring this over to the track and open it up and run them? Let's test if the locomotive works. And yeah, there we go. We're just putting together a little consist here. I love this. Safety is everybody's business. That's a cool slogan, you know, in the real world. In the railroad world, you see cool slogans like that, like those Operation like Lifesaver. Life what does it say? Uh, it will say, uh, look, listen, and live. Or it will also say, uh, see tracks, think train. Yeah, th there's a lot of safety involved in being near and working on the railroad. I, yeah. And we want to be sure. I also sure. noticed this chassis system car is very, like, shiny. Man, I don't know and if you new. can see it. It's very glossy. I'll try and get an angle on it. It has a, a gloss paint finish. I don't know how, how well you can see it. Maybe when it's running, they'll be able to see it, Jake. That, like, it's really cool. We got this guy over here. We got the wrap off of it. But we need to open it up and... Also, uh, 40 bucks. Yeah, I mean, 40 bucks. Wait, there is something under it. Looks like well, it was... Maybe they changed the price or something. But at yeah. the... um. The way the train is working over here, the, the engine has the KD couplers, but because we want to run the trains from the hall, um, the boxcar had the conversion coupler with the horn hook on one end and, and the <laughs> knuckle on the other. And uh, we Oh, need to, wow, that's heavy. We need to hook up a knuckle to knuckle. So the, the body is plastic, but the, the chassis or chassis, whatever you want to say, is all die cast metal. Yeah. So, like, it's a really heavy. It's heavy. Now, we haven't tested it out. We're going to need to put it on the tracks and give it a run. Do we want to have it pull the train first, or we want to have it go around maybe on also, its own first? Also, there's a horn here and a horn right here. We're on this side and horn on that side. That's pretty cool. We could give this locomotive a test run first and then hook up to the train after. I should have I should have used the... Um, The uh, re-railer, but I didn't. All right. Well, how about some power? Yeah, we're off to a good start here. It's 
Do I hum? It's pretty quiet. It kind of hums. That's the flywheel drive for you. Yeah, it's got kind of a humming sound. A little squeak to it. A little squeak going around we the We might curve. need to lubricate it just a little bit. Just a little fresh oil might do. Some fresh eel. I mean, I, fresh I, oil. I also noticed one of the trucks on the locomotive were black instead of gray. That's kind of bothering me, but we could paint that. You'll have to show me when it comes through here. Let's look at it in the front. See? Right here, it's black, and then the oh, back is like gray. Kind of mismatched trucks. And also directional lighting, too, I think. Yeah. Here, let me put this in reverse. Yeah, it's lighting up. Probably be much brighter when it goes faster, right? Yeah. Let's hook it up to its train. Ladies nice. and gentlemen, some operations right here on Runaway Trains Channel. <laughs> That's right. Give it a little stretch and give it a little power. Let's see if it could pull this. Oh, caboose. Oh. It looks like the, the MU hose is a little low on that, so we'll see how that does when it goes over the switches. And there's like one switch here, so. I mean, that's a pretty good deal what we paid for that, you know? Those Atlas engines were, uh, were uh, great. Uh, uh, you got to derail. Yeah, we had a little re-rail, so Drake wanted to use the coupler height yeah, tool here see to that? see. It's a little hanging. Yeah, it's not quite where it's supposed to be. This side's a little better, but not perfect. Not perfect. So... Like, why I learned what we, what we learned, we could take one of these and just bend the hose up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so that MU hose there, I bent it so it went over. There's a lip down here on the bottom of this little device, and the MU hose was bumping into it. Now you can see it clears it when it rolls over. Yeah. There. I mean, the couplers themselves, they're not exactly the exact same heights. I'm just gonna test the height on that one. No, perfect. And that one clears the Yeah, they're the not this they're not the same heights, but it's a little better. This this tool right here, this comes in handy. We're gonna pull it back in the yard and reattach the caboose. Maybe we'll have a little better luck this time when it comes through. Building America, Union Pacific. Here we go. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, let's give it speed now. Nice. That was the little rough patch over there. Can it make it up the hill? Come on, you can make it. Can it make it up the hill? Come on, you can, make it. It. Can, make it the hill? Come on, you I, can do it. I believe it can. Come on, baby, you can do it. Into the tunnel. I was going to say cave, but really kind of the same thing. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It is the same thing, right? There it is. He's out. Be specific. Ship, Ship Union, Union Pacific. Pacific. Don't you just love those slogans? <laughs> All right, let's bring it back to the yard. Do you guys out there have any favorite slogans from the railroad world? You can leave that in the comments for us. Thanks.
Well, this is our Saturday afternoon haul here. Not bad, you know. I, I didn't add up the cost of all that. 40 for a loco, maybe another $10 in rolling stock. You know, $50, a complete running set there. We have a conversion car now, which I don't think we had before. So we can take that Union Pacific box car and attach it to some knuckle couplers or some horn hook couplers now. And uh, what do they call that? Like a transition car or like a... Uh, like I an think a transition because it's KD to a horn hook. Yeah, or like an adapter or something. Either way, we're happy about that. Nick is pointing up here to the wonderful Clementine up here. And maybe we'll run that today as well. But for now, we just want to thank you guys for watching our Union Pacific Hall here. Thanks for watching Runaway Trains. Trains. We'll see, see you on, on the next, next run. run.